In this video, I am going to cover uh, three aspects related to the calf. Number one, uh, what food or uh, what you can take uh, to get relief from the coughing. Number two, what you should avoid. And number three, what preventive actions you can take uh, so you don't fall sick in the first place. So, uh, because the ideal way to treat cough is to identify the main cause, main reason why the cough is there in the first place and then take action accordingly. Because you may be having cough, uh, maybe because of, say for example, acid reflex, maybe because of uh, respiratory tract infection or uh, maybe because of asthma or uh, maybe because of some allergy. So there could be any reason. Anyhow, but I'm uh, pointing out certain uh, home remedies which will help you in most of the cases. So number one, honey. Honey, I have seen it's very, very effective against the cough. I have seen some people who are having persistent cough and as they are basically taking honey and their uh, cough is subsiding. So it is that effective. However, you have to see that the honey which you are taking is of good quality. So for example, uh, in the UK, for example, I've seen in superstores a honey which is available for one pound or two pound or three pound something. Uh, no, uh, the good quality honey cannot come at that price. So that that is really not that's not a basically good quality honey, and that will not give you the same impact. Similarly, in India, basically, I've seen two popular brands of honey. Uh, they are around forty rupees or eighty rupees, something like that. And if you actually see in the fine prints, it's like uh, more than 80% is sugar. So actually they are more of a sugar syrup selling uh, in the name of honey and they won't give you that impact. So honey really need to be pure. Number two, uh, honey along with turmeric uh, in case of dry cough is really, really beneficial. So if you're trying honey and in, in some case, if it's still not working, try honey with the turmeric, uh, you know, paste three times a day, let's say half spoon. It's, it's really, really effective. Number three, try pineapple. Uh, it's said that pineapple has a enzyme called bromelain and it's very health, healthy or it's basically, it's very good in relieving the symptom of coughing. However, you have to remember, pineapple is also of two different kinds. So one is basically round, small, one is basically long. So something, the long one, which is called something like Rani uh, uh, pineapple. Ananas and the round one basically uh, is smaller one it's quite economical now the problem is that the longer one basically is much more effective because it's quite sweet now in case if the uh, pineapple basically is small round and if it is not really sweet or let's say it is sour or something other taste so there is a possibility those people who are allergic to the citrus fruits uh, uh, pineapple may not help you in that much, uh, you know, uh, not in that much uh, beneficial. So yeah, the longer a pineapple, a uh, little bit expensive, but it's really healthy. Number four, you can try eucalyptus oil. So you can take basically two or three, uh, it's, it's very good against infection and also help relieve uh, the cough. I've seen it. So you can take two or three drops of uh, eucalyptus oil and either you can rub it or you can basically uh, rub it on your chest and you can smell it. It's very good. Uh, in case if the concentration of the eucalyptus oil is uh, very high, then you can actually uh, dilute it with some other oil. I have given the link in the description, uh, article in the description, which has got more details. Uh, apart from these things, you can also try gargles, uh, salty water gargles in a lukewarm water. So whatever basically mucus, if it's there in the back of the throat, you know, it can take it out. So you feel less need to cough. Um, in addition to these, uh, you can, you have to also see basically that what you are allergic to. So for example, if you're allergic to lemon, I mean, very few people, but I've seen like uh, whenever they were taking daily diet, their cough is basically skyrocketing. And even basically they were consulting doctors, the covers was not coming down. It's only when they take out lemon and oranges and a mosumi, they take out from their diet, uh, you know, from their daily intake and suddenly their uh, cuff disappeared within two to three days. So you have to see basically what you're allergic. Likewise, if you're allergic to pollen or if you're allergic to, uh, in case if you're having asthma, then definitely be very aware of uh, dust. Some people are saying they're allergic to mosquito coils. 
so you have to see basically uh, you know uh, you have to be really watchful what you're allergic to and take those things out of your uh, daily intake if they are not if they are not going in, into your body likewise you have to see uh, you don't have to take processed foods especially uh, you know uh, uh, this uh, fast food or spicy food they somehow aggravate uh, the cough condition and in the last basically the preventive action is that you make your immune system stronger so you don't get or you don't fall sick in the first place so number one i would say uh, try anuloma viloma uh, alternate nostril breathing even five minutes it's very good to strengthen your lungs second i think there is no better way to strengthen your lungs or strengthen your whole body or immune system is meditation try even 10 minutes meditation morning evening again i've given the link in the description below so yeah try all these things and i'm sure basically it will help you to get rid of your uh, uh, coughing and uh, i hope you find this informative feel free to subscribe it or share it